So Barack Obama, who absolutely, positively, desperately wants you to think that he has had no role in influencing the outcome of the 2020 Democratic Party primary, may have had a role in influencing Bernie Sanders to drop out. This is not confirmed. This is just speculation on my behalf. But there's evidence that might lead us to reasonably believe that he kind of nudged Bernie Sanders in that direction. Because as Ryan Nobles of CNN tweeted out, new former President Barack Obama and Bernie Sanders spoke multiple times in the last few weeks as the Vermont senator determined the future of his campaign. A source familiar with the conversation tells Dan America. And Ryan Nobles reminds us that even Bernie Sanders confirmed that him and Obama were in talks, and this was when Bernie Sanders was the front runner. I mean, how often do you talk to him? How important is it for you to, to, to earn his endorsement? And, and what kind of role do you think he'll play ultimately when you get to the general election? Uh, uh, I'm not going to tell you that he and I are best friends, but we're friends. And I have talked to him on and off for the last many years, was uh, sitting down alone with him in the Oval Office on more than one occasion. I uh, talked to him uh, on the telephone every, every now and then. Uh, he is uh, an icon, clearly, in the Democratic Party. Uh, and I have absolute confidence that he will play a vigorous, vigorous role. I mean, I think he has said this uh, in the campaign. And we need him. No question about it. We need him. Uh, and uh, if I win, I'm sure he'll be there at my side. If somebody else wins, he'll be there at their side. Yeah. So it is very possible, if not likely, that Barack Obama had a hand in influencing Bernie Sanders to drop out. We already know that he was facing internal pressure to drop out by his campaign manager, Faz Shakir, and his surrogates like Pramila Jayapal. So it's not, you know, it wouldn't be surprising to me if Obama nudged him in that direction. And we have seen the reports. Barack Obama has been wanting to be seen as a neutral figure. There were reports that he would jump in to stop Bernie Sanders in the event, you know, it seemed like he'd run away with it. And guess what? That happened, actually. That happened. Because let me remind you, back after Nevada, Bernie Sanders was... He, he was unstoppable. I mean, it seemed as if nobody could stop him. So all that the Democratic Party needed was for Bernie Sanders to lose one state. And once they got that, the first person to win a primary whose name was not Bernie Sanders, Barack Obama moved heaven and earth to make sure that the entire establishment coalesced around Joe Biden. He was in talks with Pete Buttigieg, nudged him to drop out and back Joe Biden saying you have, you know, a lot of leverage. Maybe you should use it, wink, wink. I don't know if he talked to Amy Klobuchar, but I know that um, Texas was really important, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Beto O'Rourke endorsed Joe Biden, who said that Joe Biden was basically the past, and as a party, we should move forward. Oh, and let's not forget about how after Keith Ellison in 2017 had momentum in the endorsement of Bernie Sanders, Barack Obama stepped in to make calls on Tom Perez's behalf. So the thing about Barack Obama is that he likes to pull the strings behind the scenes like the puppet master that he is and hopes that we won't notice so that way, you know, he can still remain in our good graces. But guess what? We notice Obama. We see every single fucking thing that you're doing. And the person who you voted for, who promised you change, is now the biggest barrier to change in American politics. Because so long as Obama remains relevant and pulls strings behind the scenes, we will never be able to change the Democratic Party. You have to acknowledge that. We will never be able to actually take over the Democratic Party because it is controlled by Barack Obama, the person who promised change, who's now blocking all change. So the question is, what do we do to stop this? Well, we have to call it out because Barack Obama, he loves that the base still adores him, almost worships him. So if we don't call it out, call out what he's doing behind the scenes, all of the harm that he's causing, he's going to keep doing it. There's a reason why he's not doing all of this publicly. He's not stupid. You know, he's not like Hillary Clinton, where he keeps putting his foot in his mouth. He's much more savvy. He does things behind the scenes. He fucks us while we're not looking behind our backs so we won't get mad at him. 
but it's time to notice what he's doing, shine a spotlight on him, and let people know what's happening. Barack Obama is the one pulling the strings behind the scenes. He wields a lot of influence in the Democratic Party. And you know, that's that's too bad. Considering Barack Obama is very largely responsible for Donald Trump's rise because we voted for him for change. And then after Obama, we got Donald Trump. It's almost like he didn't deliver on that promise of change. And now he's making sure that we never get change. Let's assume for a moment that Barack Obama hadn't stepped in and influenced everyone like Amy Klobuchar, Pete Buttigieg, and Beto O'Rourke to endorse Joe Biden. What would have happened? They would have likely stayed in the race on Super Tuesday, and the moderates would have split the votes, and Bernie Sanders likely would have come away with the majority of pledged delegates after Super Tuesday and emerged as the presumptive nominee, as we all were expecting him to do. Even Pete Buttigieg on a debate stage acknowledged that the two candidates that would be, you know, remaining after Super Tuesday, if nothing changes, uh, would be Mike Bloomberg and Bernie Sanders. But Obama stepped in, as reports indicated he would, and stopped Bernie Sanders at the point when it seemed like he'd run away with it. So Obama is largely responsible for this. Now, he is not fully to blame because I think that we do have to take responsibility for our own failures. And I think that we we just didn't win over enough people and weren't able to overcome, you know, this electability myth that Joe Biden had going for him. So I'm not going to say that, you know, we're uh, blameless in this situation, but had Barack Obama not convinced everyone to coalesce around Biden, would things be different? Yes. So we've got to acknowledge that Barack Obama is the enemy of progress. He is the one who is actively stopping change behind the scenes. He's pulling the strings of the puppets and getting them to dance for us. And he doesn't want to come out and show his face because he knows how unpopular that would be. But guess what? We know Obama, and now we will fight you if you want to fight us. Because, I mean, anytime it looks like we're going to be able to make a difference, whether it be, you know, putting someone in charge of the DNC who isn't corrupt, or just electing someone to be the Democratic Party nominee who isn't a complete ghoul, you have stepped in and you've stopped that from happening. So if you want to fight us, bring it on. We're ready for a fight. Just show your face. Stop being a coward. Stop hiding behind the scenes. Stop making private phone calls. Tell us what you're doing. Show us what you're doing, coward. Come out. Show your fucking face. Stop hiding and fight us if you want to fight us. Because guess what? We helped you get elected. You'd be nothing without us. We all voted for you. My first vote when I was eligible for the first time was for you. So we created this monster. So if you want to fight us, we'll fight you. We've got to fight the monster that we've created. And that's just one of the many tasks that we have ahead of ourselves if we want actual change. But understand, Barack Obama is creating barriers to progress. He is now an obstacle and he is now someone who must be resisted. So if we don't defeat Barack Obama and call out his quote-unquote meddling, then we will continue to lose. So that means we name and shame him, okay? We name and shame him. We educate people about what he did to make sure that we propped up this alleged rapist and cognitive decline all to stop Bernie Sanders, someone who actually would have delivered change. So thanks, Obama. Beta male, not a beta male.